working with our star where the SDO satellite is delayed, so we use Proba 2 swap followed by GOES SUVI. Luckily, there isn't much to diagnose with there being a lack of flaring and eruptive activity on the Earth-facing portion of our star, small plasma eruptions off the south, and of course we're going to have more coronal hole streams impacting Earth here in the coming days from these broad dark openings. Geomagnetic storms are possible this week. But right now, let's go to the heliophysics fleet, monitoring everything from the top of the sky to geomagnetic conditions to solar wind solar flaring and CME activity, and the whole solar system conditions of magnetism in the solar wind electric field. Several spacecraft in orbit at the first Lagrange point, orbiting the sun, and of course, the Voyagers way out there past the termination shock. The combined data are how we monitor everything from day-to-day -day space weather to the galactic current sheet effect on the heliosphere, and pretty much all of them are essential. Speaking of space weather impact on our planet, Good piece here on induced currents in the Alberta electric grid, where it's found that even mild geomagnetic storms are able to affect the voltage measures. They believe they can handle most of the storms the sun throws our way, but like every other grid on Earth, biggest ones are going to pose a problem. Good paper.